You see this Minecraft video about a mod that is called Prayers. What up? Mage War. Yes. And uh, there is some interesting equipment. I will remove this, but yeah. There's a couple of mobs, a little bit of magic, and a couple of interesting items, such as the magic travel bag which is just a pretty big backpack pretty neat there's also different stuffs that can contain magic and items within them i need to press the buttons there we go currently i'm using the flying magic i'm actually not using creative that's why i'm falling slowly i'm using flying magic mm. honestly that's that so you can fly just naturally if you become strong enough in the magical arts but yeah first i'll just go on ahead and demonstrate the magical prowess first we have ice shield honestly kind of small to be fair it really is that's that obviously enough it's an ice shield that's all i can say about it it does cost mana right over there you can obviously see the stats and i can switch between them like now i have this spell and also the ice shield seems to just stick with me do i this this it or is it just forever until it is gone? Hmm. Kinda uncertain. But next we have Catastravia. That's the name of this attack. Or spell rather. And I just did it. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's maybe try it on a couple of entities. Just because I'm curious. Oh. I see. I am controlling these. Interesting. Huh, well they do cause small explosions, but huh, slightly difficult to aim if I gotta be fair. Okay, it's not that difficult to aim, I think I understand it. Basically I should aim a couple of blocks before where I'm actually trying to aim at. Yeah, so that's what that spell does, Catastravia. But, whilst it is an interesting spell, I am definitely curious to see how much damage do I actually do with a single one? Also, it doesn't look like it's easier to actually use the spell as long as I am... Fine. Okay, it didn't do that much damage to this guy. However, I can also cast it multiple times, correct? Okay, I can do it a lot. Okay... Yeah, I think I'm understanding it now. Also, I don't know what I mentioned, but I did change the game rules so that they do have infinite mana. <laughs> Okay, this is super cool looking. Next though, Soul Genel? Okay. Oh. oh, I think I get it. It's a trap spell, right? Right, it just holds you in position. Cool enough, but does it work on multiple entities? Oh, it's wherever I look. Weird. It looks like I can hold as many as I like as long as I'm looking at them. Kinda? Weird. And my nose is also trying to kill me, which is not weird, but definitely troubling. Alright, so that's what that spell does. Huh. Whoa! Oh, I see. I just have a way of using the shield regardless of whether I have other spells prepared. Cool, so I can always have access to it. So let's move to Jewel. Huh, okay. Not the level of speed I was expecting. Expecting if I gotta be f okay, that speed is kind of insane. Can I fly while at it? Oh, I'm hiding my mana with this button. So there's multiple buttons, obviously, if you're not seeing it right now. But yeah, there are multiple buttons. I mean, obviously, there are multiple buttons in the keyboard, but in the key binds, one of them is for flight, one of them right over there when it comes to current mana. I guess it's for hiding how strong you are in comparison to other players. Huh. So that's good to remember. But anyhow, obviously enough, ridiculous super speed is ridiculous. So let's remove that. And I believe... Oh, there is a Zolt lag. Oh, interesting. Hmm. It looks cool, but what does it do actually? 30... What? 30 damage? It's difficult to tell. Oh! I can just hold it. It can tell. Something like 30 damage, 31 damage. And obviously enough if I st stuck it multiple times upon itself. Then I can do... Oh wow, and it does even AOE damage. Okay, this might be a pretty powerful spell if it's considered. Zoltek. I guess it does have the... Obviously, the mother circle itself, so it does demonstrate the insane power I possess. 
Very honest though, I believe... Is that the worst one? Oh, oh, I did use it. So I guess it was the worst one. Okay. Well, in all fairness though, this one as well, obviously enough, if you spam enough of it... I feel like I'm gonna crush myself if I don't stop. Because as you see, oh, okay, they do disappear in water. All right, I was kind of worried there. But yeah, obviously enough, you can spam this one quite a lot and destroy a large chunks of the land, mobs, and the armies. And yeah, whatever you look, everything's destroyed. Oh, oh, these are swords made of light. That's what the spell is. Oh, I also have field produce to field of power. Huh. There we go. Oh wait. Oh, you literally just make a few of the flowers. You know, if there is no... F wow, I guess you can make yourself a pretty beautiful garden. Huh, well, cool enough, I suppose. An ordinary defensive slash offensive magic. <sighs> I destroyed part of the building, but that's okay. Huh, wait, have I not... I, I guess I did use the ordinary defense magic. How good is the distance on it? Did I hit something with it? Wait, I hit out of chunk? I haven't even loaded that part. Huh. Okay, well that's actually an insane range for a spell. And obviously enough if I spawn it I can destroy the entire building with very little effort. That's cool enough. But it is time for the mobs that are in here. They have the strong suspicion that they probably have the same spells. I'll be legitimately shocked if they do have different spells. But first we have Fern. Oh, Fern. Audio. Stand still for a second, Fern. I'm right. I have no idea why you're also glowing, but anyway, that's besides the point. Hello there. Oh, her eyes actually look like gems. Hmm. Anyway, let's have you fight a Zoglin. Can you do- Whoa! Oh, she actually did a spell. Huh. And it seems like she can do only the normal offensive magical spell. Huh. Interesting. What about an iron golem against Fern? Oh, it's actually going right after her. It appears that the only thing Fern can do is the basic offensive magic. Oh, yeah. Okay then, so Fern about stacks up to an iron golem? Let's try it one more time. A few moments later. Yeah, obviously if she misses her magical attacks once or twice, it is kind of catastrophic for her. This one went even worse. Okay, so Fern is about equal to an iron golem. What about the MC of the show? Freyron. How strong is she? Oh, there she is. I actually like the skin, it's pretty neat. Not certain why she's going as well though. Oh, maybe because I can actually, maybe because I'm a magic user, I can estimate her mana level. But anyway, Freyron, fight an iron golem. Attack, she's just punching, now she's casting a normal spell. Should I give her a wand or a Grimo? No, a Grimo is a doubt. I think those are just for the players in Minecraft. But if I give her a wand, will she be stronger? Seems like she's doing damage. But yeah, she wins, definitely. But way closer than I thought. Huh. And yeah, it seemed like it was just a single spell. Oh, restrain. I'm restrained? Okay, what happens if I give you your... What happens if I give you your own wand? Yeah, it doesn't work either. But I am still restrained, whatever that means. So I guess it's just a spell that she can cast? Perhaps. Okay, if I summon a couple of you do, and maybe I have you fight the warden. Is something gonna happen or are you just gonna be spamming the normal spell? If it will be just the normal spell. Okay. So, I will say, all things considered, I personally really enjoyed it. But there's only one way I'm gonna end this. Yes, chaos, destruction, explosions, the only way I love ending a video. But anyway, do hope you had fun with the video. There is a video there, you can subscribe to my channel there, and for now, bye.